Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. This video is just a quick news update on CMU version 1.9.1 and all of the upcoming features we can expect with it. Okay, so let's jump straight in and discuss some of the main changes that are coming in 1.9.1. An optional second display window which will display the gamepad screen is being added. This teaser image showing Splatoon being played on one screen in full screen and a secondary screen displaying the gamepad screen has been shown to us as an example. They have improved texture readback. These texture readback improvements are the reasons we now have a working camera in CMU 1.9.1. However, this camera change is not the only improvement being made in CMU 1.9.1. Apparently, the Picto box in Wind Waker HD and save label screenshots in Super Mario Maker are now fully working as intended. Moving on to recompiler changes, we can see here that there has been a vast improvement in the rendering process of Trine 2. This game was only given to us as an example, so hopefully other games have seen further optimizations. Okay, let's now take a look at some of the other minor fixes which we have not been given major details on. Compatibility improvements, Call of Duty Ghosts is now playable. We are going to see further recompiler bug fixes, further improvements to the VPAD and pad score emulation, and in a fix that is very intriguing to me, we are going to see minor audio bug fixes. Hopefully this can fix the issues in Breath of the Wild which make the game sound like it is in mono even though the game audio is being played back in stereo. Lead developer Exap has also told us that these fixes are just the ones that have already been worked on and further improvements may be added between now and time of release which is scheduled between now and sometime near the end of the month. Cheers for checking out the video guys, I hope you found it useful. Remember to like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, follow me over on Twitter if you want to keep up to date on all the latest CMU news, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.